Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's me, Simply Ajnik. And today, I'm going to be trying the Ghetto's Daughter, Coco Green. <laughs> this is the Curl Enhancing Moisture Butter. And it's for very dry, coily hair. So, this has been around since 1993. And it has no silicone, no parabens, no petroleum, no mineral oil, and no artificial colors. So, that's probably why it's white. And, um, it smells really, really good. It's light. It's not heavy at all. And it is really thick. So, it's really like a butter butter. So, I'm not sure if I'm going to need anything else on top of this because my hair likes butters. But I will just keep my Camille Rose gel around just in case I need a little bit of, you know, pick me up or something. But I will be using the Camille Rose Black Vanilla Leave-In Conditioner, which I do like this one. Um, it's really light. It smells amazing. All of her products smell good, really. But it smells really good and... I don't use all of it, well, majority of it, so this one I'm at now, so I really like this one. So let's get started. Y'all, I am on the flow in my room. Don't judge me. Because I don't be judging y'all, little crusty still. Take about this much. It's really soft, though. I hope it don't stay white. I pray it don't stay white. It feels really good. I'm just, I don't know if I need to put something on top of it or not. This don't feel like it's going to do really nothing. Like, I feel like I might need a little gel on top. I don't know. It's super soft. Like, I don't know. Let me go take a look at that back. I don't know. It kind of looked like I'm going to need something on top. I'm just not sure. And I kind of don't want to wait. So, I'm about to put one pump of this on top. Like a half a pump, half squirt, you know, on top. And see what it does. That's my favorite too. And it smells amazing. My hair smells like lollipops and flowers. Oh my goodness. I'm looking at the screen. Yeah, I'm looking at the screen like. Maybe you need to like, you know, diffuse it a little. On camera, no. it, I can see the curls on camera. Oh, you can? I can see it, like, I can see them coming now. Yeah, but, by, see, I, I, I didn't use a dimming brush on this side, and I didn't use a dimming brush on this side. So, it looks good on this side, and it looks a little puffy on this side. Okay, so, I ended up doing it like this, because I didn't like the way that it was looking. Like, I just felt like I was on day four. Oh, wash and go, and I shouldn't look like I'm on day four, and we ain't even finished through day one. So, this is what I end up doing to it. But I like this side. This side, I didn't detangle or use a dimming brush, and I didn't put none on my edges neither. I just put it up into a bun. But, um, this side, I used a dimming brush, and I see that this side is way more defined than this side which I don't know why but I noticed that it is drying and I just I went ahead and decided not to use the Camille Rose gel on this side but I did try it out back here and it does feel soft and, and like it might have worked but I kind of just want to use just one product basically which doesn't look really bad. It just wasn't what I expected because my hair really likes butters and I guess by that one being like super thick 
that my hair just didn't take it because it was still kind of frizzy and I didn't want to just risk waiting until it dry and it be white or stiff and frizzy like <laughs> that's not a good combination but any who's this is what I end up doing to it and I I do like the turnout for this look but it wasn't what I expected so if um, I wanted to do a wash and go I would still use either my uncle funky's daughter or Camille Rose products but I don't think that this works as a wash and go by itself like I need something else um, as you can see but oh my gosh my face girl you cute you getting round. Look at my face. It's actually. My face is actually getting fat. But yeah, guys, this is what my hair looks like um, after it is dry. And I purposely didn't put anything on my edges because I'll do that in the morning. It's late right now. And um, I knew that that wasn't going to hold my edges. <laughs> Clearly it didn't. But, um, yes. I would say I would try this product as a twist out. And if you want to see that, leave that in the comment section. But as a wash and go, like as an actual styling cream, I don't think that I would use it for that. Because I would be using it to wear it in a bush. Which I always... I don't know. I, I don't. I, I wouldn't say that. I want to put this in my hair so I can wear a bush. Like, that's not what I was expecting. If that makes sense. So, mm, I'll try this as a twist out because I don't really like it as a styling cream. That's all I'll say about that. Don't like it like that. So, I'll try it again. I'm not gonna throw it away, throw it out. But I'm gonna try it again. Um, cause it's not bad. It's not super bad. It's just not what I expected, especially from the front of my hair. I could, I should have just waited to see what it would do. But I will say it's super soft and it smells good. So that's good. And my hair feel moisturized. I actually feel like I have moisture. So that's good. Other than that, I wasn't liking how. <laughs> long it was taking to absorb and I was freaking out because I thought it was going to stay white and that's a good thing so now I know that it's not going to stay white I'll definitely use it again <laughs> but I was nervous about that I ain't gonna lie I was real nervous but um yes that's it guys and thanks for watching I'll see you guys later with more videos and don't forget to thumbs up this video and subscribe to my channel. And I'll see you guys later. Bye.